Hey guys, it's the Ghost Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on navigation and pathfinding. We're going to be working on a new feature that is going to allow us to set up our AI to go to different points in the 3D scene. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to set up different destination points so that we can create kind of like a patrol type feature. So this is the one that we, the scene that we left on last time. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it because we're going to do a completely new scene. And I want you guys to be able to look at part one and also part two. So I'm going to just double click on this new scene. Now we should be in part three. I'm also going to just basically bring in the navigation component because I want, I want to clear all the meshes and basically kind of like start over because I'm going to be changing the way that this looks. I'm also going to just go ahead and snap the game view here and we're going to be focusing on the scene view. So what I want to do today is I want to have an object that goes for basically from multiple locations and then we're really not going to have a destination in this case. There are going to be multiple destinations. We're not going to be getting into this one. We're going to get basically visiting few points. So what I want to do first is I'm going to I'm just going to modify some of these. We can leave we can leave this one I think but we want to let me just make a, a map that we it's easy basically to see the points that he's gonna be patrolling. Maybe we have him go around go around and then once we reach this we maybe build a back basically a back door here where where the AI can go through and then and then go to different locations. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one, remove this one, and we can just resize some of these. And let me go ahead and turn lighting on, lighting off, because it's really hard to see. There we go. That's a lot easier. All right. So let me go ahead and do some some level design here, and I'm just going to snap that there, and we can probably snap this one here and let me go ahead and snap it I'll just snap it to the bottom here or maybe I'll just move it down I think it's fine there we go awesome and then maybe this one can be can be much taller so we can just scale it a little bit here and then we get closer for some reason I can't there we go now I can snap it just need to make it a little bit taller bring in my scaling tool and bring it down there we go I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller okay so that's perfect so we're gonna have basically going you know go to the location perhaps we can have let's see let me make this one a little bit shorter so he can go through and I'm saying he <laughs> it's actually the, the sphere and we can remove this one. Let me remove this one as well. We can probably just move this one forward. And I'm just making it up, guys. I don't think there is a perfect way to do this. I'm just going to just going to make a map that is more open so that we can do basically more things in it. So and then I'm just gonna move. Let me move it back a little bit here. And I'm wondering if we just make tall, taller walls. And I think it'll make it look cooler. Let me go ahead and... Okay, I'll just use this. There we go. And bring it up a little bit. I think that will look cooler. I just want something different so that when we are looking at the different scenes, they look, you know, we have a variety. All right, so we're going to start, we're going to probably start right here. Then I'm going to have them go here. Then we can have them go here. Actually, we'll have them go here and then we'll go here, come back. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring in another, another model. So I'm going to right click here. And this one can be just a cylinder. And I'm going to, these are going to represent the basically the points where we are going to be going to. So we're going to be patrolling. So we can just call this one 
this one can be just called patrol point and I'm just making it up and we can probably just give it a different a, a different type of material and let me go ahead and create a new material this one is going to be let me actually do this instead of creating a new material I'm going to just clone one of the ones that I already have and let's see so the offset link look cool so let's just go ahead and clone that one this one is going to be patrol point awesome and it's going to snap this on the bottom so that we can assign it to the patrol points and there we go and i'm just going to make this one thinner and something like that i think works awesome and then let's just give it a different color because this this i don't want this to match the offset link so if we start to get a combination of things, I don't want them to be all the same. And we can probably do, let's see, just do a light blue, I think works fine. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let's do 1.5 on X and 1.5 on Z. Awesome. So we'll have them go to that location and I think everything else here looks great. All right, so this is gonna be our first patrol point, and then we can have them go here, and then we'll have them go all the way back here. We can remove the offset link because we're not gonna use it in this video. Have them go here, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go here, then he's gonna go around. Perhaps we we have him go back. We make this this a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to just going to add a couple more walls. I want this to look cool, so and also functional. So let me let's do that. Let's do let's move it here. We we'll just open up. We we'll just have an opening here so that we can get to that. And then what I'll do is we'll add a wall, and then that way you know we're gonna go from this basically from this point we're starting to that point to this point then to this point then we're gonna have them look and see if there's anybody there's enemies here that we want to find and so we'll just look in here as well and then I think it's just going it's just going to recycle right it's going to and then maybe we'll, for the starting point we have a point as well which is going to it's just going to start here that way we we always start at the same location so there we go okay i'm thinking as well that it'll, it'll be cool if i had text showing you know which point is which so let me go ahead and do that let's go ahead and let me use a component well let me rename these ones first and then put them in order so this one i'm gonna put in so this is gonna be patrol point one so it's gonna do underscores and then this one right here it's going to be i like things organized especially because you guys are going to be looking at these hopefully from from github and and then you can get you know everything is clean and everything makes sense and there's nothing worse than opening a project and everything is just messy okay so we have let's see four so we have one two three and then four which is perfect and then we'll go to our five and actually five looks like i had this one multiple times we don't need this one multiple times so i'm just going to delete that and then this one it's going to be number five and i'm going to just put it right in order this is going to be our last patrol point and then i'll just move these ones up here with the wall so everything is clean and organized go to the inspector and then just this is going to be wall and maybe maybe for these ones we'll just make the walls a little bigger you know wider in length so that we we can basically go around and it's just not as easy okay something like that this one can go all the way and make sure that i go all the way maybe around let's actually go all the way so that it matches the wall on the other side okay i think i think we're good okay so i like how how this is looking and all right so that looks good so now let's go back into the hierarchy so i got everything clean up in here so what i was going to do is i was going to add basically let me go here and then what i'll do is i'll create a 3d text mesh pro and i'll import it 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to add labels on each one of these in, in world view so that we can see which patrol point is each. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and move it out because it's all, all screwed up now because it's a scale. And I'm going to move, I'm going to go ahead and move this here. Okay, and let me see what I have in here. So I'll just do one, one, one. And then we'll just scale everything appropriately. Okay. And let me go ahead and turn off the, the post-processing because it, it's driving me nuts. And I'm going to just set it all the way. The way we'll just set it to zero. That way we can see everything easier. It looks cool, but when you're working on, on a level, you want to basically toggle that. All right, so this is going to be, we're just going to call this text or overlay. We're going to just call it overlay. And then what I'll do on this one, we're in my inspector here. This is going to be patrol point, patrol point one. And we'll just name them, you know, as they, as what they are. Awesome. And then what I'll do on this, we need to go way, way smaller. Maybe something like that. And then I'll just bring this in. Okay. And let's go ahead and click on 2D so we can go into 3D mode. Now it looks plain and boring. And that's because I turn everything. Probably just turn line on. I think it's fine. Okay. And let's see. Do I have rotation? No, I don't have rotation. But that's fine. We'll just... Let me see which view I'm going to have for the game. So for the game view, before we keep going, let me... The way we can see, I think I, I think I want to see it. See, I want to see it from this angle. Or maybe if we make this wall a little smaller, we can we can see it better. There we go. Awesome. So I like the variety there. Okay. So. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this as the view that we're gonna see from the from the actual game. So I'm just gonna do that and then hold my command shift F. Let's go back a little bit more. Okay, perfect. And we just Okay, right about there. Alright, so I got the, the view on the on my camera so I know that I can see the labels. Okay, so I want to make sure that this label it's going to be on this one and i'm just going to change the basically the position needs to be zero zero and zero and i'm also going to rotate it 100 and well let's see about 360 degrees and then we'll just do something like let's see 60 and if i go here and 60 okay so that I think that works and let me just clean this up a little bit just thinking if it's too small what if I just make it larger no that's okay I think right about there it's fine okay so I'm gonna do the same thing with each one of these so I'm just gonna do maybe I'll just clone it a couple times this one is gonna go there there and then we'll change the location okay so then on this one I'll just have to well, the, the actual Y I'm going to leave intact because I want all of them to have the same height. This one is going to be 2. And if we go from this view, and this one it's going to now be 3. I'm just going to do 0, 0. And now we're colliding with. So let me actually do this. On this one, I'm going to move it. It's going to be here. Or we can just move it forward a little bit this is the cool about the cool thing about this is we can do you know anything that we like so it's just a prototype okay then this is the patrol point number two so i need to just name that one appropriately this is going to be three and we'll just have a couple more we just rename this one also rename this one so this is going to be zero zero i'm going to rotate this one a little bit and then lastly, I'm going to do this one, this one, and we can just rotate that one a tiny bit. I think the view that I want to see when I run this, I think it's, I think if we do something like this, it will look cooler because the text, we're not looking from right above it. We're looking from maybe right above there. 
Okay, let me just go back. Okay, something like that I think I think works. There we go. I think that's perfect. All right, so I got these, and I need to do this one is going to be four, and then five, and then we'll be done with with the implementation. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now that we have the, the different the different points, I'm going to also go into my navigation, select everything in here. So I have the floor and then the walls and also the steps. So I need to do everything and basically rebake everything. So I'm going to, everything is selected and everything in here needs to be rebake. Okay, so I have, so I have everything baked correctly. It's really cool that we have this little passage through the back. And okay, so I think I think we're good there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I want to actually work on the code to basically patrol different areas. So we're gonna go ahead and and do that. I'm going to create a new script, and we can just call this one. So the other one I call it player agent. This one can be called the patrol agent. That way we can use different scripts for different implementations. And we can combine them maybe in the future if we do more more cool things. All right, so this is going to be I'm, go, I'm going to change all this because it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to need to tell the system that we we have multiple points. So I'm just going to do a private transform. So this is going to be all of our points. And then I'm also going to do an int because we need to basically keep track of each one of the points. We're just going to say destination point and we're going to start at zero this one is going to be serializable because i want to actually expose it so it's going to be serializable to make sure that i tap in here and then we're also going to need the a reference to the nav mesh agent so i need to do nav mesh agent agent and this is going to require that we bring in an in space so let me just click here Unity AI. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and implement the, the star functions. So it's going to do a star and I'm going to say agent equal get component. We need to get a reference of the nav mesh agent. So this is what this part is going to do. Now the next thing that I need to do is when, if you notice in the previous video, when we were getting into the destination, things were slowing, basically slowing down. So there's something called agent that auto braking that we can set it to false so that the agent doesn't doesn't slow down when it goes to a point. And then we're gonna be implementing a new method that is gonna allow us to go from one point to another. So it's gonna say void, go to next point. Awesome. If points, so we're gonna check to make sure that the user actually, or the designer actually set up these points. And to be honest, this is an example from Unity, so I'm, I'm giving them credits as well, and just going through and then explaining it to you. So this one is it's gonna check, okay, do I have any points that have been set? If they have been set, then we're okay. If they haven't been set, we probably just need to do something like the bug, the log error. You must set up at least one destination. Okay, that way we know and we can probably just do enable we can just say enable equal false that way we disable this and it doesn't really run okay so the next thing that i need to do is i need to tell the system to go to their first its first destination so the aging is going to go to the first point that we set up which is the one that we have that we have right here so if we go back and i say points so i'm going to access that array and then i'm going to say destination point and then we're going to grab the position of the first de destination point. So it's going to go to this array, grab the index zero, and then grab its destination. The next thing that I want to do is we're going to be basically cycling through destination points. So we can go, you know, from the first one, the second, the third one, and then so on, and then recycle back to, to the beginning. So I'm going to say destination point, and then we're going to say plus one. And then modulus, and then we'll just say points length. So it's going to go and then basically cycle the destination points if we hit the max. 
So now the next thing that I need to do is, this is going to work for the start, but we also need to do it on the, on the update. So I need to call it here. Go to next point. So when we start, this is going to, you know, go to the first destination points, but we need to keep track of it. And then as the game is running, then we need to basically tell the system, okay, if we got to the destination that we want it, we want to now go to the next one. So I'm just going to do, let's just gonna go ahead and do update. Perfect. And then here, what we're going to do to check is we're going to say, okay, if agent, we're just going to do a not. We're going to say if agent, agent doesn't have a path pending. So this means that if path pending is equal to true, that means that the, the agent is in the process of processing the path. Basically, he's going to the destination. So if, if the path is not pending, meaning that we're done and we get to the destination, we're going to go to the next, basically to the next point. So that's what this means. And then we're going to do another check because we want to make sure that we're checking for the a distance. So we're going to say, okay, in the, in the distance, the remaining distance is less than 0.5. Then we're going to go to the next, basically the next point. So I'm going to go, go to next point. And there we go. So that should wrap it. That should wrap it up. This distance, I probably would make it, let's make it also another variable. So I'm just going to say private void remaining distance. And then we can just serialize it so that we can, we can, we can just set it as a, as a variable. So I'm just going to copy that value. This is going to be the default value, but if we want to increment it, distance, there we go. Let's call this, this is normally a good habit to just call it minimum remain distance. I think, I think that's more proper. Okay, and this is a flow, and I think we're, all right, so now let's go back into Unity and test this out. So I'm gonna go here and make sure that I have my player. So if we, if we look at the player, the player doesn't have the script that I just implemented. It has the player agent. So we're gonna remove this one. And we're going to add the new one that we just added. So it's going to be called patrol. It's actually called patrol agent. And then we also need to tell it which the points are. So right now we have, let's see, we have five. So let's go ahead and add one more. And then I'm just going to grab each point. So this is going to be the points that we're going to have the player go to. So the first one is going to be this point. Second one is going to be this one. Third one. And then fourth one and lastly number five and then we have our minimum distance there so i think that's everything that we need to do let me go ahead and test it so i'm gonna hit play and make sure that everything works so we got our first one we went to our second one and for some reason we're not getting to our to our next one let me make sure that everything is set up correctly All right, guys, so let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna hit play. And we visited patrol point number one, patrol point number two, patrol point number three. Then we got to four. And let me make sure that we're getting, we're getting into five. And you can see that we're now cycling. We're going back to one. And then coming back to two, three, and four. So. There's a lot of things that we can do here to make it, you know, to make it better. We can also change the velocity if we wanted to. So in fact, let's go ahead and try that because right now it's set to a speed of 10. Let's go ahead and try 30. Let's go ahead and have it go really fast and see what we get. So it goes really fast, comes back. I think because the speed is too high, it's, it's having a hard time slowing down. Okay, let's go ahead and try, let's get, what about 60 on the acceleration? And see how, see how that looks. So we have better acceleration and you can see how the player just ke keeps bouncing. Okay, I'm going to increment the angular speed. So let's do 120 on the acceleration and then 480 on the, let's just, let's go crazy with the numbers. Let's see what we get. It's more precise. And then it just goes really, really fast. And if we look at our stats here, we're running at a good frame per second. So pathfinding is, it doesn't really take much of a hit. Okay, so let me go ahead and undo the settings that I did on the 
on the speed. There we go. And also, one thing to keep in mind that I changed that I want you to know. If we go here, make sure that you're setting up the minimum remaining distance to a higher number. Because of my setup, it needs to be a higher number. I did 1.5, and then 1.5 is the number that actually work. Otherwise, it was getting, it was basically getting stuck. So yeah, so that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about navigation and pathfinding that I didn't answer throughout the video, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.